Welcome back my wonderful brothers and sisters all over the world. Welcome back to Call for a Purpose. Always affirm to yourself that you are born, you are called for a purpose and you are going to live to fulfill the divine purpose and calling of God in your life. Please, if you're new to this very channel, do not forget to subscribe, share, click the notification. To subscribe, like, share, and put on your notification bell so whenever we upload, you'll be able to get notified. Welcome back, great brothers and sisters, and the Lord, may the peace of the Lord be with you all. May the face of the Lord shine upon you. Amen. Today, we are going to pray. We are going to ask God to rebuild every broken walls in our life. Every broken trust, every broken home, every broken relationship, every broken source of income, every broken ways of life, every backslidedness. In any way, in any form, we have had in our heart, in any way, in any form, we have gone contrary to the will and to the words of the Lord in our heart because we feel that maybe as a result of disappointment or maybe as a result of series of things that are happening in our life, we have you know, being sidetracked, we have shifted from the love of Christ. I want you to open your mouth and pray. I want you to ask God to help you to rebuild every broken wall, every broken things in your life that is making you to this fire, that is making you, you know, to... To, to become lukewarm in your relationship with God that is distracting you, that is keeping you down. And the enemy is using as a weapon of twisting your mind that, is, uh, that the enemy is using or as a distraction that you are no longer focused as you used to focus. The month of January 2023 will be ending in the next four days. I want you to pray that God is not only mm. going to rebuild every broken walls in your life, but God is going to help you to end this month with the joy and laughter. If you haven't make out time to pray, we still have up to four days, which means you still have like three days to take out time to pray and to seek the face of the Lord and ask God to use this month to be able to do good for you in the remaining 11th month. God is not a greedy God. That is why he's asking us 10% out of 100%. I want you to open your mouth and pray. I remember what I posted the other day mm -hmm. about redemption. Our redemption can only come from God. Our redemption can only come from our Father. When I was calculating shekels, how much is the shekels of the of in, the, the Jewish shekels to a dollar? Is about uh, 29 cents. So it's about the five shekels that the Bible mentioned is about uh, $1.45. I was like, okay, my first daughter is now 12 years old. If I, I calculate $1.45 for into 12, it's going to give me less than $20. You understand? So I say, maybe this is what I'm going to do. I'm just giving you my own analysis. You know what you are looking for. You know that person, your mother's first son, your mother's... Um, your own first son, your own first daughter. You know what is going on. You know what is going on. Your sisters, you can relay this information to them. You can say to them, I think it is high time we do something that we are not used to do. I think it is high time we go to God in prayer. I think it is high time we redeem these people from the cause of the first son. That God will be able to rebuild the broken walls. The broken walls of their life. The broken walls of their whatever the enemy is using as a as a catalyst to react in negativity, to react downfall, to react evil in their ways. I want you to open your mouth and pray. I want you to call upon the name of the Lord. That was my calculation. I was like, God, if I'm wrong, open my eyes to see beyond natural. If I'm wrong, open my eyes to see beyond natural. But it have to cause us something for us to come before God. The word of the Lord is a lamp unto those that trust in the Him. The word of the Lord is a lamp unto our feet that we may not sin against him but we may stand upon the words of the lord i want you to open your mouth and pray i want you to call upon the name of the lord i want you to seek him he said, those that will seek me early, that they shall find me it is time to seek the name of the lord it is time to ask of the lord 
for his mercy upon everything that has been broken in our life, on our children, on our husband, on our brothers, on our sisters, on our husband. I want you to open your mouth and pray. I want you to call upon the name of the Lord. Have your husband lost his job? Have your wife lost his, her means of uh, income? Whatever it is, I want you to pray. Because there is nothing too hard for our God to do. Our God is the God of all flesh. Our God is the God of all flesh. Open your mouth and pray. Call upon the name of the Lord. He will answer. He will show us great and the mighty thing that we know not. This is the day of the Lord. They said the spirit, the spirit of man will sustain him in sickness. But who can... Bear a broken spirit. You know, there is nothing weakens a, a man like a broken spirit. That is the book of uh, Proverbs chapter 18, verse 14. Father, we call upon you. We say, Father, rebuild every broken heart. Rebuild every broken soul. In Jesus' awesome name we pray. Amen. Thank you, my brothers and sisters. Keep on praying. Do according to the direction of the Lord in your heart. May we have the grace to do what is obtainable. May we have the grace, may we receive grace from God to rebuild every broken words in our life until I come your way next time. Remain faithful. Remain steadfast in the Lord. I love you all. May the Lord be with you all. Amen. Bye. She needs our prayers. They need our prayers. Amen.